This tutorial will show you how to use charts, bottleneck analyzers, sand key diagrams, comments and how to make your model more aesthetically pleasing. Recreate the model shown in the exercise folder in the class library. Set up the source to create entities according to the uniform distribution. Go to the Exit Strategy tab and ensure that blocking is checked. Change the drop-down list to Least Recent Demand. Each single proc is also set up to have different processing times. On the Exit Strategy tab, blocking should be checked. The Exit Strategy of Single Proc 1 is different to the other single procs. Single Proc 1 can send parts to two different stations. First, a chart object will be added to the frame. Add a chart from the User Interface tab on the toolbox. Select Single Proc, Single Proc 1 and Single Proc 2 by drawing a block around all three of the objects. Select any one of the Single Procs and drag and drop the selection onto the chart. Ensure that Resource Statistics is selected from the drop-down list. The chart window will appear. Percentage is set on the Y-axis and the single procs on the X-axis. Reset and run the model to completion. The end time should be set to 5 days. Select the chart, right click and select show. The key shows the colors that correspond with the status of the single proc. Add a failure to single proc 2. Double click the object and go to the failures tab. Add a new failure. Change mean time to repair to 20 minutes. Change failure relates to, to operating time. Reset and run the model to completion. Display the chart. The red section indicates that the failure had occurred. The large gray area indicates that the single proc waits for a large percentage of the time. A bottleneck analyzer would now be added to the model. This tool allows you to track where the bottlenecks are located within the process. Add a bottleneck analyzer to the frame from the Tools tab on the toolbox. Reset and run the model to completion. Select the bottleneck analyzer, right click and select show analysis. The charts will show the status of each object over the simulation time. Single proc 3 can be identified as a potential bottleneck seeing as the station is working for almost 100% of the time with little idle time. Add a sand key diagram to the frame from the tool tab on the toolbox. Select the entity MU in the class library under the MU's folder. Drag and drop the MU onto the sand key diagram. Reset and run the model to completion. Right click on the sand key diagram object, select display sand key diagram. The thickness of the blue lines indicate the amount of entities that flow through that path. Add a comment to the frame from the user interface tab on the toolbox.
Double click on the comment to open the comment window. The content of the comment can be changed on the comment tab. The display name of the comment can be changed on the display tab. The size of the display can also be changed. To change the background color of the frame, go to View, Background, Select Color. Select the desired color. To add to the aesthetic value of the model, vector graphics can be drawn around objects. Change the color of the graphics with the color graphics on the toolbar. The Show Names button on the toolbar allows you to show or hide names of the objects. The Show Connection button allows you to show or hide connections between objects. Play around with the other buttons on the toolbar to see what the influence on the model will be.